Okay. But this and this, which one? Uh, it's just a darker shade of chocolate. Yeah, it's this is like caramel. Yeah. It's caramel. Not, uh, yeah, it's not yellow. It's caramel. We are caramel. Caramel. Hello, do. Oh, it's a yellow. You yellow. Yeah, we know. No nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm pretty mini. Okay, uh, Father and I got it. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Victoria Ayodele. If I ask you if it's your first time here, thank you so much for joining me. If you're a subscriber, you know I love you. You know I appreciate you so much. Thank you for always and always coming back. Okay, so today I have the love of my life on the channel. <laughs> The only pepe in my in my goosey. You know, you know, I'm not stock fish here. Maybe stock I'm fish. <laughs> Your goat meat. I'm not the buck at all. It's yeah. pepe. <laughs> okay. Anyways, guys, I have my husband here. Hi, babe. Can you introduce yourself? Um, hello, everyone. My name is Wally. Um, I already live fast. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's great to be back here once more. It's great to have you here once more. Anyways, have guys, I've not eaten. <laughs> okay. okay, I have. I've eaten the stomach. <laughs> Can we continue with the video? Okay, guys. Anyway, so today we'll be continuing with answering your questions. Um, yeah, so I think the last question we answered was on asking someone out, asking the opposite sex yeah, 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 out, yeah, or so. Yeah. <laughs> So we'll be continuing with the questions you guys asked, right? Um, you guys can always ask your question in the comment section. Some people have, and we'll be going over those also as we move on. Okay, so the next question we have here is from Moments with Tick. She's one of my constant followers. Like, thank you, thank you. I see you. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. And her question is, where did I keep it now? You went back. Okay. So her question is, is there a reason why a lady is attracted to the type of men she doesn't want? I hope you understand the question. You know, I was actually going to do a video about this. Why married men are attracted to you? Why you are attracted to married men? Because that's just, I'm not saying that's who she's attracted to. I'm just saying, you know, that's one of the type of men that, you know, you're attracted to. So what do you think, babe? No, you don't have to answer. Because I'm a lady. Hey, okay, well, you're right in that aspect. So why, is there a reason why a lady is attracted I'm to the man, right. type of man she doesn't want? Mm. So why, so, okay, I, I, I'm trying to understand, make sense of the question. Like, for instance, these are always attracted to, like, bad guys, you know, they have the swag, they have the right words to, they know the right words to say because they are players. They know how to dress to attract you, you know, they know all the all the physical and nonsense things that you know um the surface things that that women want and they kind of you know they are that way and naturally will be attracted to them you see ladies will be attracted to six packs some ladies attracted to six packs to a guy that speaks fluently mm. to a guy that yeah, not attracted to six packs. me mm. i mean if you have it i will appreciate it <laughs> but i've accepted my cross <laughs> 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 okay, I'll not answer. I'll you not answer talk, me. I'll not you just, to that. I'll just wake up one day. I'll just see like, hey, get get. Eighteen. Because I'm bouncing. Anyway, so um, so yes, I think it's just because um, before we are Christians, before we are um believers, or before we are, you know. I don't know. We are first of all humans. We are first of all lustful. You see, this flesh wants, you know, we want the flashy things. They, you understand? It's just human nature, right? And when you see someone that, you know, it has the swags, it has the vibe, it has everything that the society is saying that a big boy should have, it's just natural. Like you would be, you would be an alien not to be attracted to that kind of a person, right? So I just think it's just our natural human. It doesn't make you a bad person, right? Because I used to have that too. You understand? However, if these are the, you know, it's a different thing. And that's, I'm, I'm taking it as a, that's two different questions you said why you were attracted to those kind of guys you just need to check yourself what are those things that you consider 
um, valuable? Why do you consider it valuable in terms of, you know, attraction to a guy? Why is it a thing for you? Why is six packs one of the things that attracts you to a person? Like, you just need to ask yourself those top questions. Now, it's a different thing if those are the kind of guys that are attracted to you. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying that it's a two day. That's why I'm taking your question the way it is, right? However, if you find yourself you know attracting certain kind of people that don't fit into your own personality or the kind of person you want to settle down with right then you need to check yourself because there has to be something that is attracting those people to you or you need to check your circle the circle of the people that you're around because those people would uh, you know would most likely be the people that will be that will be coming to you right i don't know if you understand what i'm saying so basically if it's about you know then you are being attracted to certain people you don't want to marry then you need to check yourself okay you need to set your priorities right okay and then if it's about them being attracted to you this certain kind of people that i don't want to marry they are the one who are coming my way then you need to check yourself you need to what is it in me that is allowing these people to be coming to me is it the way i'm relating to them is it that i am too free is it a certain way i dress is it a certain way i carry myself is it how i talk is it like there has to be certain things because even for a guy that is intellectual and everything right there's there are certain traits in a lady that would attract into that person so you need to check you know yourself right in yeah so in both cases actually you need to check yourself i'm attracted to this even though i know that this is not the kind of person that you know i want so at the end of the day it's just self-evaluation what do you think babe okay um i agree with what you're saying mm -hmm. um but I, no 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 there's no but but i think uh, okay the but, but. <laughs> It's not qualifying. <laughs> Is it an only middle? <laughs> All right. Um, mm -hmm. I'm just saying it a bit from a different perspective. Mm -hmm. Like, um, if you're attracted to certain kind of men, even mm -hmm. though you know that they are not exactly the best fit for your life, mm -hmm. it might be a function of um, your environment, yeah. like she said, how you grew up. And uh, sometimes trauma does not manifest in only the negative aspect per mm. se mm. like um generally we have the idea that ptsd is um occurs with you eating a thing sometimes you get attracted that's i think it, it's called yeah. Stockholm syndrome but mm. this is not exactly it but what i'm trying to say is for instance there's a trait you do not like in a parent figure or a yeah. parent but you find out that it's the same thing you're manifesting mm. so because the conditioning in your mind and all those ones makes for that thing to reoccur mm. so you don't you you your your dad is a kind of man that is a good father but maybe not a good husband, husband. but somehow you attract those kind same kind of men mm -hmm. so it does happen that way so that's why i said i agree because sometimes mm -hmm. you have to reevaluate where you're coming from in order mm -hmm. to understand where you are at the moment yeah um so i i i, I get that it happens so it's that like way attracting what you are you know most scared of yes yes mm -hmm. you you just find out that they are the kind of people that you resonate with yeah because because that's all your brain knows actually exactly because sometimes i feel like um we are so when we get to focus on what we don't want we are uh, we are on it we are um, uh, unintentionally, unintentionally you know. attracting it yeah. right that's why they always say think of what you want not what you don't want exactly right because when you're thinking of oh i don't want an abusive man i don't want this i don't want that but you don't really know what you want all you know is what you don't want so at the end of the day your brain is not really getting any signal as to what exactly you want or so you are not professing what you want you're just chasing what you don't want at the end of the day you know you end up attracting those people because instead of me saying i don't want an abusive man i don't want a this why not say i want a respectful man i want you know a man that will appreciate me a man that would love me you understand and then you kind of attract those people it's like when you want to buy a car right before you, you start thinking of the kind of car you want to buy you don't see the car the moment you realize that it's toyota corolla i want to buy you start to see toyota corolla everywhere you understand so the moment you you visualize what you want and you start to say it and you start to believe it in your head i think you kind of start to attract them rather than just focusing on the things of the kind of person you don't want oh is that am i trying am i communicating yes, yes. What I, you're I agree with what you're saying because um, often time um there was an illustration that popped in my head when we were talking about the car mm. comparison thing it, it does happen quite like that that you don't have a mental picture mm. of because we, we learn by image imagery mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. even as a child they say a for apple so mm. they paint that picture mm. so we, imagery plays a lot of role in 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 
in yeah. things like that so visualizing so sometimes because you don't have an image a pictorial mm -hmm or videographical representation of what you want mm. what you don't want is what is in your, in your subconscious mind. so i've i've had instance where ladies will say stuff like um um i mean i've a lady has told me before that if you truly love your girlfriend you should slap her that to correct her and, and i'm serious yes that's and i was like to slap her yes that so that you know women can be troublesome sometimes you have to do that in order to set her right and i'm like ah this is oh god wild, wild oh now, god as wrong as that may be mm -hmm. you have to wonder at who supplied her with that mm. information so if a child grew up in an environment where uh, the 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 brothers correct the sisters by mm -hmm. slapping the husband correct the wife by slapping mm -hmm. the uncle you know so it becomes the normal culture. and the women in the family would be like yes that's love mm -hmm. and all that so he has conditioned the child to see love from that's that bad. prism hmm. so is you know before i i can before it's easy to castigate um certain belief system of people but now i'm more flexible because i'm wondering i am I, I i now check the the foundation like who supplied you with that information mm. what what shaped you to think that this mm. is normal mm. so you'll find out that sometimes those kind of conditioning through what you experience as a child can mm. make you see um certain things mm. only mm. so until you have a pictorial or videographical representation in a subconscious you may not be able to see the right kind like she was explaining mm -hmm. the right kind of um, men and all that it does not necessarily mean that you're a bad person Oops. it just happens yeah. to us that way oh, oh. when your hand is not rest my hand is not rested. Well, no, if your hand rested, you will not be pressing front and back. Did I press anything? It's not this your Jagger Jagger phone. It's not Sunday, so you can't lie. <laughs> <laughs> it's Sunday. It's man. almost Sunday. It's it, tomorrow. No, Sunday is tomorrow. She, she wants to unsubscribe. <laughs> so she's taking care of me. Hey. All right. So, okay. So, thanks, babe. So, yeah. I hope that answers your question. Let us know in the comment section below. Um, the next person favor said how's your year going and how is mr fash doing mr fash how are you doing You're doing just fine as you can see just fine you are taking good care of me i'm taking good care of him god is taking care of all of us jesus is taking care of all of us <laughs> um unknown unknown said what are your goals and resolution i think we already said this we don't do resolutions we, and we already set our family goals and mm -hmm. we are not sharing that um Joyce said, um, how can one stay sexually pure in a I relationship and still maintain romance? Yes, we we've done this. a video on this. Yes, even the sweetest part about marriage. That was yeah, yeah, that was the last there. question. The sweetest mm. part of marriage. Oh, okay, okay. But I think we skipped the one mm. we just answered. I don't know how we did that. All right. Um, so Ty, you said, how do you say no without feeling bad and without hurting your partner in the other room? How long can infatuation last? Okay, so those are two different questions. So how do you say no without hurting your partner, babe? How I have you been saying no to me? <laughs> well, I'm oh, it's funny. <laughs> hey. 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 But um, how do you say no? Mm -hmm. um, I, can, I, I know for a fact that it's a woman that is asking this question <laughs> without even yeah. checking yeah um because um the dynamics is a bit different for a guy mm. um, but i think that all in all is all about communication mm. trying to understand yourself saying mm -hmm. all that one um and trying to understand that um it's not as 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 pleasurable as it may be mm -hmm. you're doing with another human being and mm -hmm. a, a lot of other factors can contribute to the performance or the willingness mm -hmm. and all that so mm -hmm communication would play a role mm -hmm. um so much so that every time you're saying no mm -hmm. or all the times you need to say no the person there there's a foundation upon which the person can understand that mm -hmm. when a no comes this way it means this mm -hmm. when it comes this way it means that so the conversation has to be had no matter how difficult you think it may be mm -hmm. so that you let the man know that okay you know like biologically men are wired to want more uh, you know Doing congress <laughs> than females 
uh, for, than the female. Yeah. Um, it's just a biological thing. Mm -hmm. um, so, but every man should also understand that um, mm -hmm. the way we, we may want it because our body demands for it, it is mm -hmm. not the same way for women. women. And so that's where understanding will come in that, except if you're now denying him as punishment, punishment. Uh, and that's when it will now become more complicated and all that yeah. or, or all of those ones but if it is just um, um maybe a mona thing or you're not i mean every man should know the best time to approach mm -hmm. their partner for stuff like that mm -hmm. so it's part of what communication will help you establish that mm -hmm. okay maybe he's, he's overbearing like how do i mean it goes for long and it does not stop it's just like a moving train on and on and on and on and on and you can't <laughs> bear that you'd have to find a way to let him know that okay this can happen all the time yeah do you get mm -hmm. that okay at least this time let's mm -hmm. just have it for you know mm -hmm. like a functional thing like okay there's no time for us for all of that or yeah. i'm not in the best frame of mind or um my health can handle it or mm -hmm. all those kind of things you know communicate because the truth is we are all discovering each other and discovering things in mm -hmm. and because of my marriage as even though i was not exactly a novice i had there are a lot of things i needed i had to learn mm. um because of my wife i i didn't know them and yeah. I, I had absolutely no idea so mm. with those in mind they helped me be able to you know relate with certain things and all that one so i think <laughs> it's just a function of that one communicates and it will get you know it's, it's a progressive thing yeah i agree too i mean you need to communicate let them there has to be a basis for why you don't want to do mm -hmm. it because the, the scripture clearly states when you get married your your body doesn't belong to you your husband's body doesn't belong to him his body belongs to you your body belongs to him so you cannot just say i am not doing even though we do it okay <laughs> right but it's always nice for you to you know let him know that babe you know for me i mean if i'm not in the mood m most times he knows right <laughs> he just automatically knows and there are times that even though he knows i am not right you know if the need arises and um it's just more or less telling him like my husband has said okay fine there's there, there are two types of sex there's beautiful sex there's beautiful sex miss pastor conquest has a whole series about that go and watch his channel right beautiful sex is you know the you know let's turn around let's give it let's do different style let's enjoy ourselves you understand dutiful is i'm not in the mood let's just you know i'm just doing it because you need it because you want it not necessarily because i want it and that's what marriage is sometimes you have to be selfless right in short marriage is selflessness that's what it is you'll be selfless all the time most times <laughs> you know in marriage you understand so there'll be times that you're not in the mood but if for any reason you just don't want to right well, you, you just or you can't you communicate to him babe i'm not just in the mood i'm not this is there any other way and you people don't come I, we are, i'm currently doing a i don't know if it's a series where pat videos on you know oral sex and other ways you can do the do with your partner right you don't need to have the do if he needs to get it off itself there are ways you can help him to get there right so communicate just like my husband said and I'm, this is talking to married couple if you are single skip this part okay <laughs> right just communicate to him you know give it to him sometimes you'll not be in the mood right my husband has said men want it more than men than women there are times i noticed that he, you know sometimes he would want it i don't want it and because he knows that i don't he wouldn't ask you understand but in my mind the holy spirit is telling me that my, <laughs> you understand so even though he's not he's not coming forth i go to him even though i really don't want to do you understand that so it's just it's just selflessness and being sensitive to the other person's feelings know that yes the person it is right it, my body is his right and yeah you know it's like if i'm borrowing something from you that is not mine if for any reason you need it back and i can't give it to you like i would there's a way i would talk to you because i know it doesn't belong to me mm -hmm. but the problem comes when you don't you don't accept that it is not yours it is his right then you start to say i beg you want to kill me am i might not a human being what 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 you understand because you don't believe is that it, it is his is it food you understand but if you know that this thing is not mine it is his own you will not be claiming right on that until somebody else's property do you understand that but when you still believe oh it's mine is my I, that's my right my right my body my rights like you know the movement 
right is now that's where the problem is but that's my body my right is not by glycol right but that does not mean too that you take advantage of your partner when you know you know don't make it a usual thing you understand so yes and you can say no i'm sorry babe i'm not just give him a good reason and um yeah anyway so yes find other ways to please your man the next question we have here is good day sister victoria say how long can oh sorry how long can infatuation last infatuation <laughs> i have infatuated day eh? i've infatuated over somebody for like two years right and the day the person approached me the day he talked to me that's the day the infatuation died <laughs> sometimes infatuation is more or less and I, you are in love with the idea of a person, right? You are in love with what the person seems, right? But the moment you get to know the person, you realize that, ah, it just dies off. You understand? If a picture can last a day, it can last two hours. It has lasted 60 seconds for me, literally. I like a guy. The guy approached me and just opened his mouth. I'm like, Jesus Christ, I can't believe I liked him from afar. You understand? So, yeah, it's addition does not last. Trust me, it doesn't at all. I well, say it lasted for two years. And he says it no, last. no like okay maybe the way i'm interpreting is like infatuation in terms of i'm infatuating uh infatuated. if we are dating and i'm infatuated do you understand mine is i infatuated you know about somebody that we are not dating like mm. infatuation on somebody right and the moment we got close the i just realized that no this guy is not for me do you understand so it's like you're losting after somebody that is not around lost in, wanting something and the moment you have it right you just realize that this thing is not for me you understand but before the thing came before the guy approached me i was just there losting 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 for a very long time two good years until i'm like the guy now finally approached me and asked me out and i'm like ah i'm sorry sir all the things i felt just died right there and there have you ever infatuated mm, of course. infatuation of course Abba. Mm. Yes, recently no no in like a year in like five years i can't even remember my infatuation <laughs> moment must be my teenage years yeah i uh, know that mm. um, i use infatuated about uh actors nollywood actors a lot Oh, um, when i was younger when i was like mm, in my those, teenage those, years. those that's kind of normal to every human yeah. i think yeah yes at least i remember that growing up when when we used to see the regina askia the liz benson the <laughs> stella damasos they were women i really liked stella damasos she was your mom she's your she's your she was not your age mate and that's what the whole idea of infantation is about <laughs> oh, now. Wow. it does not have to be someone it's, you can it's an idea of somebody yes yes i understand, I understand yeah that. so i remember that when the husband of uh, stella damasos died that's jaya over there mm. i was like ah i wish he, i was you, you, you are know, close to her Maria, can you that imagine kind of thing. Well, so that's that's yeah but do you think it lasts i just think it's no, just no, no, a, no, no. It's a more face. often than not it doesn't mm. if it does it's then it has become obsession mm. it's no longer infantation. infatuation you're not obsessed mm. about yes. the person that's so true visually it's yeah. fleeting it's, mm. it's facetious it's, it's very fleeting yeah yeah okay all right um ugo said good day sister victoria please i need your assistance for my visa application please every i still get questions on visa application till today guys it has been a long time i cannot answer your questions to be honest if any of the videos i have does not answer your question there's nothing i said that we answer i've lived that life i'm so until i apply again and then we can have you know, besides, that conversation um, but people need to get that um I the can't policies remember. has changed the policies gets to change yeah. with imagine with covid some policies came after covid some policies came so you can you it's it's an emerging situation or, or what do i call it so i mean evolving situation so mm -hmm. it's not the, the information that she has may be hold now yeah yeah so please guys all right so um the next ones actually i think we are done with the youtube questions so these are the ones that came as follow-up on in my dms for now i'll address the comments on data uh right so this question gosh i've been stalling it for a while so let's just do justice to it she said it's a long question so bear with me guys she said hello anti-fash <laughs> anti no. please i need your help i usually love and admire married couples christian married couples but i have never pictured myself no wish to be married i am 16 
I was 16 when I met this 38 year old man who gave me much attention, care and advice, especially with my studies and even financially. But when I refuse, he would insist and I will never and he will he will insist he will never harm me so i should not be afraid of him to cut it short the second time i visited him calling him uncle he told me he prefers that i call him by his name red flag started caressing me and i became emotional he took advantage of my ignorance and it looked like i owe i made owed it, it look like i owe him it's okay Who sorry to him he okay he made it look like i owed him owed it to him since we've been friends for a while he knew my weakness always trying to please others that's her weakness so i accepted but was scared he started it and and the pain was unbearable that i started shouting instead he increased the volume of the music he raped her and no one could hear i have not walked but managed to get home i could not walk but managed to get home reaching home i greeted my mom and she never answered she advised me the next day but i never but i never knew what happened or she never knew what happened i have been with the guilt till now i am 21 nothing interests me about it anymore that's it this is a very deep and this is why i wanted to have that collaboration with this girl it's just that gosh it's not even her fault it's me um because this is definitely a rape a rape situation um and i just wish honestly that you would stop carrying the guilt of that because it was not your fault i can relate to this because you know yeah i can relate to it and it gets to a point where you start to blame yourself that after all you went to his house after all you are the one who went there after all you collected money after all you did this like you said you felt like you owed it to him and all of that it's just you were 16 years old for god's sake he is the adult he was 38 years old he took advantage of your innocence that is just it it was a predator and he used you and he he, he, he made a mess he made it made, made a mess right and it is not your fault you did not cause it he's just a pervert and you know someone that will go to hell <laughs> if he doesn't repent right it's just a very sad situation but i just wish and i hope honestly that and i know you because you're like you're very constant on my dms in my comment section you are like a constant follower this is the reason why i want to start my mentorship school for god's sake this they always press this in my mind every morning when I wake up. Every morning, every time I see a question, like start this, I will be doing that. So just be on the lookout for it because sometimes it's not just one answer that would solve it. You need follow up. You, I need to recommend other people to you. You need to speak to someone who has been in this situation before, right? There are certain things that I would like to share, but I am not ready to share about it. But trust me, you are not at fault, right? You were manipulated. That was it. He knew that. He knew your weakness he knew that you know if he knew the right was to say he's an adult you were a teenager okay you didn't have the right to even make a decision at that age so he knew what he was doing right and i am so sorry that happened to you but to be honest the reason why you don't have feeling for you know sex and the rest of it definitely it's coming from there and that's why i said a question and answer is not going to resolve it um i'll reach out to you again or if i have one please reach out to me on my dm again so that we have a conversation i'll refer you to somebody that would definitely be of help to you right but trust me you are going to get over it if i was able to get over it you would definitely get over it okay yeah so um yeah do you have anything to add Mm, no, no, no yeah so don't blame yourself um don't blame yourself you will get over over it but we have this is not a question and answer you know kind of conversation okay but if anyone has any advice you've been through it or something and you'd like to advise her please leave it in the comment section below i'm sure she would be grateful to hear from you guys all right so mm -hmm.